Hello again. Well, I don't know how many of you are going to be interested in this video and I'm not sure if you can hear me above the noise of the very busy road that backs onto my mum's uh, garden. Oh, I can see my breath. It's a bit nippy. So yes, we've, um, we've finished the lockdown. Oh, we're free. We're free to go and do whatever we please. Of course we're not. We're now in tears. So where I am now in this loft, we're in tier two. Tier one, hardly any of the UK are in. Isle of Wight, should have stayed there when I went on holiday there. Isle of Wight and somewhere else are on tier one. I don't know what that means, but anyway, it's the least restrictive of the draconian measures. And tier two, where we are, well, I believe all shops can now open, hence possibly why the roads are a bit busier until yesterday it was just essential stores and now all the stops, uh, shops are allowed to open and of course we're into December now so Christmas is a coming the tofu burgers are getting fat or the nut roast in my case and um, so people may be going out shopping you see and of course there are people still going to work of course so um, yeah we're in tier two so shops can open, I think gyms can open, restaurants, and I believe pubs can open, I think. But you can only buy alcohol in a pub if you're eating a substantial meal. Another stupid rule. But where I live, and I'm going back home on Sunday, we're in tier three, which means I don't really know. I think all the shops are still open. Um, I don't think the pubs and restaurants are allowed to open all the gyms. I don't it's so confusing isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to stop thinking about that for now and put up a new aerial as I said I was going to and it's absolutely massive. <laughs> it's it's huge compared to the old one. Look at it. Yeah, yeah that's it. That's a better shot. That's roughly how it's going to be in, in the loft but just behind the camera where the old one is. This is three times the size of the old one, but I think it'll just about fit. So I've got that. I, I've got half, half the loft space is empty now since my uh, recent s selling, and there's gonna be more going as well. I, you know, I'm gonna have a break from selling stuff until the new year, I think, but I'm gonna start again and get some vacuums at home gone, and then I'm gonna start chipping away at all the vacuums I've got in my storage unit so hopefully it probably won't be till June but I need to get rid of that storage I'm just throwing money down the drain keeping those vacuums 120 pounds 80 pence I think it is a month just for keeping a load of vacuums that the vast majority of them I'm gonna sell but I can't bring them all home at once well I'd need a van <laughs> quite a big van so it's going to have to be drip, 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 slowly, slowly, catchy monkey. And of course, Mark doesn't want me to bring loads home. So I'm going to sell some at home first, make some space in the garage for about a car load of vacuum cleaners. And then bring a car load home from the storage unit, sell those. And then in a couple of weeks or so, go to the storage unit again and do it like that. That's the only way. Keep it drip drip you know so the house isn't overwhelmed again i'm trying to get that house sorted looking forward to going home to uh, to be honest i want to get my tree up i'm going full i wasn't going to but i'm going to go full whole hog even mark wants me to put up these extra decorations that i've got to go in the window i'm going to even put up the the red fleece blankets that I cover the sofa and chairs with. I didn't bother doing that last year and I've got other little ornaments, lighted ornaments to to put up. So, right, sorry I thought I... Um, I don't like talking if there's an audience, you know what I mean? I know you're my audience but this isn't live. So, um, on to the job in hand. So I've got, I've assembled, because this was obviously, this came flat packed in the box just behind me. It's a Lab Gear High Gain Wideband Professional Aerial. But it's not got so many, you know, it's, I was always um, catching myself on that aerial that um, I'm going to be taking down. 
although this is bigger it's it's more smooth you know what I mean so I've got this and then I also bought I think it's a three meter cable here this with molded on this is a F connector I believe they're called so this is molded on so one end goes into the aerial and the other end will be going into this new box I just got one that's suitable for two points two TVs so that that says ant that's when I uh, screw in the aerial and then this TV1 TV2 now I've got four leads coming up into the loft from the four sockets we used to have so I've got to determine which of the two leads I need to connect to this so I'm going to need my mum's help to shout out when the TVs go off and on but the thing that I didn't realize oh, I didn't bring them up I'm gonna to have to go back down because these are F connectors and the old aerial leads have got this standard aerial fitting if you know what I'm just the push fit these screw in because obviously I came to do this and I thought oh I can't connect them because they've got the wrong so I had to order a couple of F connectors which I've got downstairs so I've got to bring those up determine which wires I need to put the F connectors on wire those up screw them on this is going to be screwed it's got two holes I'm going to screw this to a beam so it's out in the open the existing one that's here is pretty rubbish and it's been buried under the insulation with the mains adapter and you should allow air around these things because they do get warm so having it on a beam out in the open there's enough of a mains cable for me to do that so I'll do that so this is what I'm doing first thing hopefully it won't take more than half an hour <laughs> he says fingers crossed and then I'm just gonna have a bit more of a sort out up here it is I know exactly what's up here it's all listed on my iPad what I've got um, I've got a few bits downstairs that either didn't well they've got, I've got one vacuum that they didn't pay for I've got another vacuum that was returned with a fault so I'm just gonna put those up I'm not gonna take loads of vacuums home on Sunday I've got quite a few things to take home but I'm gonna leave them here at the front of the loft so next time we come I'll take them then but I don't want to get be taking too much I'm gonna sort my mum's house out you know obviously there's stuff in the downstairs bedroom it's all gonna be tidied today all put up here and left maybe for a couple of months or so and or till next year until I'm ready to again start bringing and it will be a slow process here every time we visit my mum I'll take a few back to sell until um, I'm left with a quarter I've got half the loft full I want to get it to a quarter full that's the plan right so let's have a look it is a bit nippy up here but uh, it is winter so I need to uh, first determine which leads I need to screw the new F connectors onto into this uh, amplifier box well as you can see I've had to uh, remove two of the boards in order to get to all the gubbins here's the, uh, the crappy old aerial I decided to replace it because I broke off this part one of these broke off I mean it still works and I recently broke off one of these knocked into it and it snapped so it's still working but I thought well while I'm here I'll get my mum a new aerial and uh, wire it in and this is the existing awful cheap I don't know if we can quite see it I've got another light here for you to this cheapo thing not even wired correctly you can see the bare wires of the aerials look so I'll just unplug one of them hang on I'll there we are so can, I, can you see that folks so that's a standard aerial connector which is useless for the new box and it's plugged into here this uh, cheap thing all oh, right so well I do know well I've unplugged it now this is the lead that goes to the actual aerial the old aerial so that can be removed but actually I'm going to need that to determine which goes where so I'm going to unplug all these I'm not going to film all this because I can't do this holding a camera I'll just show you what I'm going to do and then show you the finished result there we are right we can now take this 
focus. Uh, take this cheapo. I've got my focus settings on wrong, I think. Um, so as you can see, this is for four different TVs and the aerial plugs into that side and then it plugs into the mains. So the one I've got, although it's only for two TVs because we don't need it for four, is a lot more modern and it'll be a lot better. It's all wired in, it's got a normal plug on it as opposed to a mains adapter that gets warm. So the adapter thing is built into here so this unit will get warm but as I said it's going to either be whoops, attached you know to this beam or to that beam it's going to be out in the open so it prob probably on that beam there just behind as long as I can reach up might have to go a bit lower depends how long the cables are that I'm going to need um, but yeah there's some of the cables aren't too long I think they may have been marked No, see there's no way of determining which of these leads goes to which TV. So I'll have to pause, plug everything back in. Well, I'll plug one TV aerial in and see which TVs work. And I'll be back when I've uh, made some progress. Well, one trip to town later, because I bought the wrong connectors. I got these two of these from Amazon thinking they were F connectors. And for some reason, they are two males, and we all know that two males is abhorrent to nature. You can't have two males doing anything together. And I don't know how two males can connect up your aerial. Said it was an F connector, I didn't read the description properly. Okay, so anyway, I've, um, I've got these two. These are what I needed. These are... F connectors, a two pack. That's all I needed from Wilkinson. I think they were one pound fifty or a pound. I think they were a pound, but I ended up spending thirty five pounds in Wilkinson, as one does. Um, but anyway, it it's correct because here's one fitted. I've done a neat job of that, and this lead goes to the TV in my mum's bedroom. So now I've just got to determine which of the three remaining leads is for the main TV in the living room so I think I'll just plug one in go and turn the TV on see if it works and uh, by a process of elimination I can discover which of these leads I need to take this connector off and put the other F connector on well there you go that wasn't too bad I've got the new aerial in more or less the same position. It wouldn't have mattered if it was slightly differently angled because it's a much better aerial and I've got a much better amplifier. I've been to uh, retune both the TVs downstairs and they're working fine. They may have even picked up some extra channels, I'm not sure. So even though it is quite a bit bigger, I think it's less obtrusive somehow than that uh, thing I kept uh, poking my eye out with so that's going to the tip obviously I need to tidy up the wires I need to put the um, the boards back as you can see I've got the uh, whoops oh sorry about that noise it was my uh, I lent on my doobry I lent on my what's it look right so I've got there that's the uh, doodah look little blue light saying it's on and wired up to the antenna and TV one and two plugged in down there and uh, I think there's a big enough gap here when I put the board so basically if I want it doesn't matter but if I want to tidy up those wires I can just put cable um, not cable clips what do they call them things you know the things you hammer in I've forgotten what they're called they're not called cable clip well they might be called cable clips yes they are actually yes <laughs> so uh, you know good good quality look Good quality connection there and uh, obviously new F connectors onto the um, existing wires and the other two spare wires are just tucking them in they're surplus obviously they're not in use so yeah I'm really pleased it's a nice good job you see you know I can do stuff quite practical 
I've fitted an entire, well, I've, been, I've fitted two entire kitchens in my lifetime, including the plumbing and electrics. The only thing I didn't touch was the gas, which you're not supposed to touch. So, yeah, I'm really pleased with that, that uh, despite the setbacks, not having the correct uh, connectors, but, you know, nice little trip out to Wilkinson, which I uh, enjoyed. And then we, we went to Aldi as well, but there wasn't much. It's not very busy in the shops, you know. You'd expect it to be in busier than it was. So, yes, just got to put the two, uh, two uh, what's-its back, two boards back, and roll the carpet back down and then I'm just going to tidy up in here you know I need to get rid of that big box and just tidy up and you know bring some more things up and then I've finished in the loft for this trip I can put those ladders away in the garage and then uh, concentrate on getting some other bits done well there you go that's the boards put back and the carpet rolled over and vacuumed and uh, that's a job very well done, if I say so myself. And I've been accompanied today with my toiling by a lovely, lovely 1970s comedy. In fact, it's in my top three. I can't say which is my top comedy. But The Good Life is absolutely brilliant. I absolutely adore that show with Margot Ledbetter. I mean, Hyacinth Bouquet does not hold a candle to Margot Ledbetter. Oh, honestly, if you... I know a lot of my American viewers will be familiar with Keeping Up Appearances. If you can catch The Good Life, watch The Good Life. I, oh, I just adore it. It's got two things that I adore in a sitcom. One, it's middle class. And two, it's set in a suburban environment so all the sitcoms I tend to like the best are set in a domestic situation um, Fresh Fields is another very good middle-class ITV comedy Georgia Mildred I love but it's a mixture of working and middle-class ah oh, but the good life it, it might well be my number one favorite comedy program I think it's hard, it's hard to say. I, I love so many different comedies. But anyway, <laughs> enough of that. Really, really pleased. I've got to get rid of the box. And I've got to now start to sort out the rest of this. I mean, it is sorted, but while I've been up here, I've made a bit bit of a mess, but I've just used, I've just used, I had a, I had a vacuum cleaner to hand, surprisingly, up here. And I've just used this one that my mum used to use in her old house upstairs this used to be the upstairs vacuum and it's a hoover pure power an earlier well it's an early chinese made one and what makes this one a little bit different is the is the royal appointment now i don't know if i'll be able to show you this with this awful lighting can you just about see what that says by appointment to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. That's the that's the only vacuum I've got that actually says the Queen Mother on it. Which I don't know if it was... Oh, there's the dogs barking. Which I don't know if it was a mistake or what, but... It's a bit, bit different. Anyway, that lives in that corner inside that bag. So I've just got to clear all the mess away, vac the rest and uh, bring some more bits and pieces up and then I can finally say goodbye to this attic space for now anyway well that's about it thanks for watching another sad little video from a sad little man but um, <laughs> if you're watching this bit now you've obviously got some I don't know I, I hasten to say pleasure but you've got I don't know what you've got from watching <laughs> whatever you've got from watching my videos um, I'm glad. Hopefully it's not got you angry and hopefully you enjoy it. Well, if you don't like watching my videos, you're not, you're not going to be at this point of the video. You'll have turned over, as I used to say in the olden days, turned over the television. You'll have clicked on another video and thought, oh, I don't want to watch that a-hole. But anyway, at the time of making this video, last night as I was uh, just about to 
go beddy bobies. Well, I was in bed. I got an email from Happy Socks. Do you remember Happy Socks? Last year I did the Happy Socks, well, the last two years I did the Happy Socks advent calendars. The first one I did, I bought the advent calendar myself and Happy Socks saw it, liked what they saw and decided to send me last year's. Well, out of the blue, they said, oh, well, we've missed seeing your advent videos. Can we send you our 2020 advent calendar? So I said, yes, but I had to give them two addresses because obviously I'm not at home. I said, well, if you can send it by Saturday, send it to this address here. If it's going to be after Saturday, it'll have to be at my home address. And what I'm going to have to do is just sort of try and get caught up. It might be December the 7th or 8th by the time I get the socks. I don't know. So as soon as I get them, I'll obviously make the videos to get us all up to speed and then you'll see one video a day I'll just probably put out seven videos seven or eight videos in one and you can watch them if you want to one by one so when it, when somebody watches them at a later date in years to come perhaps they'll be able to watch it day by day so I thought shall I just open seven in one video or whatever but I thought no I'll do them separate and then you know, I wasn't planning on doing anything like this, but the Happy Sock ones, they're only little short videos and I can make make them quickly during the day, you know, so it'll be fine. And I'll be doing some other Christmassy things around the Happy Sock Advent calendars, you know. When I get home, I'll be putting my tree up and showing you all my decorations, if you're interested in that. So that's it for today's video. Another job well done. I'm really pleased with that. Still got things to do. I'm um, going to finish off in here, it's a little bit cold and then I think I'll go downstairs, warm up and have some lunch. So whatever you're doing, have a nice day or hope you've had a nice day and I'll see you all for the next video very soon. Bye for now.